Cucumber Agua Fresca slash Detox 2.0. Yes, you guys have been waiting for this one. And there's one thing that I'm good at is making detox agua frescas. If you guys are interested in getting this drink with some sugar and the sweetness that you're used to, make sure to look in the description because I have the recipe with the exact amounts of sugar that I recommend for this particular blend. But if you guys have seen my video, which a lot of you probably subscribe to my channel because of that video, I'm about to do the Cucumber 2.0 and you're going to be like, wow, Steph, that's, that's pretty neat, but it's very, very simple. So what you're going to need is one to two cucumbers. I don't want you to feel left out if you don't have the exact measurements because part of making agua fresca is you make do with what you have. For example, you buy a watermelon, it's not so sweet, make it into agua fresca and it doesn't go to waste. So what I have here is I have regular cucumbers. I have two cucumbers that I chopped finely and we're gonna add them to our water. We're about to blend. Ooh, splash. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blend this for about two to four minutes. I'm gonna eyeball it because I already know what I'm looking for. But if you guys have a different kind of blender, you might need to blend it longer. And if you have a super speedy fast blender, you don't wanna blend it too long because you might end up making everything really warm and like defeat the purpose of agua fresca. So let's start blending. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. So once you've blended your cucumber with your water to make your agua fresca, you want to go ahead and strain it if you don't like the pulp. And I like straining it because it's just easier for me to drink, like it's just water. I don't have to, you know, chew on pulp or anything and sometimes I am that person will chug water and get it over with. So there is those busy days for moms. But if you like the pulp, go ahead and continue. If you're gonna be storing this in your mason jar for um, the next day so you have it ready and um, it lasts a little bit longer for you, make sure you add some lemon or lime juice, okay? Which I'm not gonna be doing that, but I like my, um, my lemon in here. Again, this step is only if you would like to get rid of your pulp, but if you wanna drink it with your pulp, you may. I get a lot of questions, Steph, how did you lose your weight? I lost about 20 pounds already, something like that. And um, the starter for it was this cucumber uh, water because I don't add sugar to it, it keeps me full. And I went a little bit into details as to what I was doing and I was a bit lethargic <laughs> when I was talking about it on the sister channel, but I'll make sure to link that in the description area. And there is no magic pill. I think the only thing that I purchased was um, fruits, veggies, and um, my spirulina powder. All right, once we have this set, let's get to our next step. Once you've strained your cucumber water, you're gonna notice you have that beautiful cucumber green color. And you guys know my pouring skills have been horrible lately, so I had to bring reinforcements. Based on your guys' feedback, you have this for about two weeks and you're gonna notice that your tummy begins to slim. I'm not saying you're gonna drink this and go and eat your regular um, heavy diet. I think everything should be eaten in moderation, obviously, but one of the things that definitely helped me was coffee, then I would have my cucumber um, detox water and I would have about three cups because I use the large mason jar and I would drink that before I considered eating anything because at the end of the day, I'm hydrating my body. And you guys noticed it on my skin, how much like the, it was really drastic. And it's not just the moisturizer that I use. I was definitely um, feeling hydrated. I noticed that I naturally tend to do that when it's gonna start getting really, really hot for summer. So that's how I recommend doing it. And I also say that if you want to lose weight, eat a huge salad before you have like your tacos or your macaroni and cheese, whatever it is that you want to eat because you're going to end up eating a lot less and you're also nurturing your, your belly. 
very important. I've tweaked this cucumber water with so many different varieties of fruit. If you guys like this style, please let me know so that way I can share the other recipes that I do have for this particular drink. Because after a week, if you're not used to it, a lot of people don't like cucumber for some reason or are allergic to it, then you can start tweaking your recipes and make it comfortable for your home. So what I like to do is I like to uh, shred my cucumber and they're a little bit thought out, but leave them in your refrigerator, in your freezer, not refrigerator. <laughs> leave them in your freezer overnight because they're gonna get really cold and add them to your, um, to your cucumber water. When you add that to your cucumber water and your cubes of watermelon, because watermelon does have a lot of sugar, but it's also very hydrating and good for you. So all you need to do is add a few cubes of that into your water and voila, the 2.0 changes slightly but beautifully because you're drinking it and then you have a little bit of something to chew on keeps you satiated it works for me works for my family Add a few of your little cubes there we go I mean how much can you get cucumbers for they're like two for a dollar some places um, and it's very different than juicing. I, I don't want you guys to confuse this for juicing because it's, it's not like that. Um, you get to keep most of your nutrients in here unless you're like, you know, eliminating your pulp. But it's equally as good as juicing. It's a lot faster. The cleanup's a lot easier. So for making my agua frescas, the Ninja 1000 Watt Professional Blender has worked. You guys got it last time on sale for, I think it was like 40, 60 bucks. So that, that worked out great for us, right? So let me go ahead and get this all done. That's how I make the 2.0 agua fresca. Freezing the watermelon and the cucumber for like overnight is definitely gonna change it when you're drinking it. I also like to engage my family to drink, to have this drink. So that's why you guys see more of the chunkier cucumber, um, the citrus in here. And that's, I mean, kids are visual. So if my kids see this, they're gonna be like, all right, mom, we're gonna try it. But you guys already see my kids. I've gotten them to drink and eat things that I never imagined. Now, um, if you guys wanna hear a little bit more tips on how I lost my weight uh, and it started because of this particular drink, um, keep watching. If not, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, adios. Okay, friends, if you're still watching this because you want to know how I lost about 20 pounds and you guys have seen it from the videos in April or so after our Sedona vacation, you guys will be able to see that I slowly started losing weight. I'm not trying to lose um, quick, easy weight. I'm trying to keep it off and stay healthy for my family. That's the reason for my drive, I would say, my family. <laughs> and of course, my health. I want to last a very long time for my family, so that's what I'm doing. Um, what you want to do the first day, just drink cucumber water. You got to start kind of detoxing your body and eliminating things. Your hardest day is going to be the third day. You're going to start feeling lethargic. But your first day, just drink this. The second day, have this with your salad. And then the third day, um, you can kind of go from there because everybody's lifestyle is very different and everyone is hungry for different things you know like some people like sweet some people like fried food and you just have to like fight the the cravings that's pretty much what you have to do and there's not a pill there isn't any particular drink that's going to change your mindset the only person that's going to change your mindset is you so if you told yourself i cannot lose weight and i've tried everything guess what your body's going to say we can't lose weight because we've tried everything tell your weight now tell your weight tell your body you're gonna lose that weight and the more encouraging and the more loving you are to yourself, you're gonna see that it's gonna just melt off of you. You don't have to starve, you don't have to be hungry, but you definitely have to like figure out what your point of satiation is. So if a big bowl is your satiation, you already know that if it's a huge bowl, it's not for you. It's not, your whole meal should not be mukbang style. How do I know? Because you guys saw me gain weight by doing mukbang. <laughs> So what I'm saying to you guys is take it easy, love yourself, eat more fruits and vegetables. So some of the things that I like to eat when I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight is I definitely keep it a little bit lighter. You guys see me do my tastings here on the channel and that's usually what I do. I keep it as a tasting unless it's tacos. If you guys see me eat tacos, you guys know I'm going to go ham on them. It's, it's, I was born that way. 
<laughs> but um, the agua chile, which is uh, shrimp marinated in lime juice with cucumber, onions, and they're very low carb uh, style meals. I'm not doing keto. I don't do well on keto because too much of the fat actually does make me feel sick to my stomach and I can't commit to it. But it's a great diet for a lot of people. But for me, I, I try to keep it low carb and through this whole process, I'm not a big fan of french fries anymore. Potatoes, I think like baked potato I can handle, but french fries, I only have a few and I catch myself not wanting to eat the rest. Um, my addiction for chicken wings has minimized a lot compared to how it used to be. So um, you wanna eat fresh salads, um, light salads, and um, light proteins and clean eating I would say um, let me think about what other things I had the fish and the veggies to eat that that's one. true hot pot <laughs> I do eat a lot of hot pot and I learned to make my hot pot here at home and I change the variations because you guys see from my channel I've mentioned to you guys I get bored real easily with the same things and I'm always looking for the next flavor that's gonna satiate me so hot pots um, uh, cod I love cod and I change it with the style of my veggies but I am a veggie lover so if you're not a veggie lover start with the veggies that you enjoy the most so those are the things that I've been doing to uh, lose weight my workouts have been on and off to be honest as a mom I do have a busy schedule homeschooling my kids and tending to my home um, and doing YouTube so my workouts haven't quite been where I want them to be but that's not what I wanted to tackle I wanted to tackle my food cravings and in a way a food addiction because I'm a foodie we're addicted to food which whatever way you look at it so uh, within doing this detox which I usually do two detox out of the year um, I've been able to lose weight without even trying because if you eat your salad and your greens you're gonna understand that you're full. So I would say, if you're not too sure about what direction you're gonna take, start off with whatever, if you have coffee or tea in the morning, do it. Then have your cucumber water and try that for two weeks, just tough it out. Even if you have to chug it, just chug it and get it over with if you need to. Don't eat anything unless you have your agua frescas and as I mentioned to you guys, it's about three cups that I drink. I'm not saying that this is gonna replace all your nutrition, you definitely have to uh, keep an eye if you have any medical conditions consult your doctors. I'm just sharing the things that worked for me um, Take your <clears throat> multivitamins too, right? Cause you're yeah, be a little sick. yeah, you are um, I think Once you get to your second week, you're starting to feel confident seriously that the ending of day two To day three you're gonna start feeling like you're gonna go grab a bag of chips or whatever your cravings are Don't do it. You don't need to do that Just fight it go to sleep early <laughs> That usually helps. Sleep is really good for you. Take a good shower, set a routine for yourself, and don't deviate from um, that routine that you're setting up. Make a commitment to yourself, love yourself, and everything's just going to fall into place. I think that even uh, us going on vacation recently, for me, I was able to eat the things that I wanted, and I was mindful about what I was eating as well. I was like, oh, I'm not going to indulge in this one because I'm saving my treat for another occasion. Um, I think you guys heard me mention that in the video and um, that's how I've been dropping my weight. If I'm hungry, I'll go and slice up some cucumbers and eat them that way or my son actually started eating it. We're just, we peel a little bit of the top, we put some tahin on the top of it and then we eat it that way. And for those of you that love tahin, you can sprinkle a little tahin in this agua fresca and it's gonna be like you're having an antojito, a nice treat. So it doesn't have to be difficult. You don't have to buy like a tea that's gonna make you lose your weight. You're not, you don't have to go buy medications or vitamins or things that are gonna assist in your weight loss. I think if you're not used to eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, your body's gonna go into a shock. Like, what are you giving me, girl? Like, what's in here? And your body's gonna naturally start secreting all of those things. You are gonna have headaches. You definitely should take baths and scrub. Um, there's a lot of things that come with losing weight and detoxifying yourself from a lot of things. So what have um, I been doing differently or what has changed? I don't have that much soda anymore. It's very rare. Like on vacation, I did have it. I mean, I was enjoying myself, but here at home, I don't have that. I don't have a lot of chicken wings. I don't have a lot of the old things that I was consuming. I do taste it because um, I noticed my family was starting to get cranky, you know? <laughs> These boys want to eat. So I continue making them their meals, and for me, before I indulge, um, when I'm not on camera, I definitely eat my salads, and I eat a little bit more mindful before I can do a tasting of whatever it is I want. Even if it's cinnamon rolls, I'll make sure that I eat all the things that I was supposed to that day, kind of like a checklist, and then I continue with 
getting a tasting, not like a full, like on course of whatever it is that I was craving. All right, friends, there is no cure. You are the cure. Your mind, having a strong mind, being mindful, um, being grateful for yourself, loving yourself is going to help you lose that weight. Just know that it's not going to happen overnight. And I'm a firm believer that things that um, come easy don't last long. So it is hard work, especially for uh, my age. I definitely know I don't want to go under the knife for any kind of condition. I have a family to raise. I want to be healthy and keep those things in mind to motivate you um, in your journey for weight loss or just to stay slim and stay healthy because a lot of you, I see you, you guys look good. <laughs> So that's all I have to say. If you guys have questions that I didn't answer, please let me know below. Um, I have been a bit preoccupied with my family a lot and I haven't been able to reply to you guys, but I'm gonna go in this particular video a few times um, after I post it to see if I can answer any of your guys' questions or help you and guide you um, to, to your answers. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me and for encouraging my weight loss. You guys have been so charming and sweet to me. And yeah, we're, um, we're still doing this. So if you guys need more uh, agua frescas um, to keep you inspired, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, adios. You guys ready for a taste test? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Salud. It's so pretty. I don't know, I'm more of a visual person, so if it looks pretty, I'll probably eat it. <laughs> so learn to enjoy your cucumber water. <laughs>